I called Maricopa County Community Colleges for comment. The director of communications says no one's been served yet, but the attorney for the football players says they will soon. Sounds good. Four community colleges say goodbye to football for the 2019 season. When I found out that the program was being shut down, I was like, wow, they're shutting down all sports. And they're like, no, just football. Like 60% of the team that plays there is African-American. A lot of opportunity has been taken away from a lot of people that probably need it. Xavier Janelle relied on his football scholarship to pay for school. Puts me in a tough spot, like really stressed lately because... I have to find somewhere to go. So Xavier joined a group of former football players suing the college district and board members citing discrimination. The percentages of black athletes who uh, are negatively affected is 10 times greater than white students in the district. And when a policy of an institution has such a negative impact, it must be substantially justified. Attorney Philip Austin, who's representing the athletes, says the law required substantiated reasons to eliminate the program because it affects many in a minority group. They first claim the programs are too costly. Reports indicate that the programs are just a minor percentage, 1% cost to the district. Austin says he has evidence proving board members discriminated against some groups. The board did not want to continue football program for personal and political reasons. Plus, we have uh, emails that reflect a racial animus, only seem to attack programs, including racial minorities, Muslims and Latinos. So we believe there is some racial animus. Pretty pathetic, to be honest. The next step, the student's lawyer says the college and board members will be served soon, and he hopes to discuss bringing the program and scholarships back. In the newsroom, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.